The one thing that surprised me with this scent right here is the authenticity of the fig in this one. Well done, Ferrari. You did well. <laughs> What's going on YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to another Robes Await fragrance review. Today I'm putting my nose on the house of Ferrari. The very first time on this channel that I'm going to do a full-fledged review on a Ferrari fragrance. It's got to be their fig-based fragrance. This one called Noble Fig. Keep it tuned in. Noble Fig hit the shelves in 2015. Bottle size is what you see right there. The 3.4 ounce bottle. Concentration is eau de toilette. Noble Fig is, of course, part of the Essence line from Ferrari. As far as pricing goes, I recall uh, Canadian retails over $100 Canadian. That's uber pricey. But discounters right now have this particular fragrance here for under $40. Bucks. Um, steal of a deal. Um, so definitely take a look for that at that price. I just want to thank my partner, FragranceX.com for Noble Fig. Um, this fragrance and a lot of the Essence line is available on FragranceX. They don't have Neroli, Bright Neroli, FragranceX. I, I know I shot you an email and asking for Bright Neroli, so let's see if they can get that one. Um, but there is quite a bit of the Essence line on FragranceX.com. You can utilize my code ROBES08 and get this fragrance and you can get it for real cheap on Fragrance X. Now let's take a look at the note breakdown and as you can see here it opens up with pink pepper fig leaf and mandarin. In the mid we got iris and clary sage. And in the base we have musk and patchouli. Big notes to this nose right here, the fig leaf. It's a fig based fragrance and it doesn't disappoint with some musk, clary sage and iris as the big notes in this fragrance. Group aromatic um, very very safe pleasant easy to wear spring summer scent let's get into how many sprays and wear with this one i go fairly liberal with this i'm gonna go six sprays with this sucker right here um, now my first spray of course on the chest three on the neck now when i do three on the neck one here one here and then one in the back here and then two on the arm so i'm wearing a hoodie here so i'll go right here um, again, with the arms, um, you could put it pulse points down here, or if you're wearing something short sleeve, you could put it in your inner elbows. Either way, that works. Um, six sprays for Noble Fig. Now, before I delve into Noble Fig, I love what Ferrari's doing with this Essence line. This one is part of the old collection that started in 2015 with, of course, Noble Fig. Bright Neroli, which I need, I need to get that in my collection. Still haven't gotten it yet. And of course, Pure Lavender, which I don't really care about it. I'm not a big fan of lavender, but Bright Neroli, you're on my radar. But um, this one, of course, part of the O collection. So the water collection. So let's spray on my hand here to remind me of this introduction. Let's double spray it. Bottle's beautiful. Cap is heavy, gorgeous. Um, this presentation is very very nice and from a, a car or fragrance house um this is probably the best in the game right now i i'm hard pressed to to find another bottle as far as presentation goes better than this but let's get into the set that's what matters right and this opening oh she's she's fresh she's green she's watery um wow uh ferrari immediately sniffing this set my first, even my first sniff of this stuff, my jaw dropped. I'm like, this is from a car fragrance. What? <laughs> I was not expecting anything close to this from Ferrari of all brands. Never judge a fragrance by its cover. Historically, Ferrari hasn't done much in the fragrance game from my standards. And that's a personal a thing for me, I usually see Ferrari fragrances in the bargain bin. Uh, now, not talking about this Essence line, but they're older fragrances, so they haven't really done much for me. They're usually in the bargain bins, $20 or less, and they're beside celebrity scents and other car scents like Hummer and Jaguar, so some, some fairly cheap stuff. Now, this Essence line, well, most notably, Noble Fig, just brought Ferrari in the serious fragrance circle. They aren't playing around with this essence line. They really aren't. Going back to this opening. Let's let's go back to delving into the scent. 
It's an excellent fig leaf opening with a splash of citruses. Um, there's an orange in here. Um, it's refreshing, it's green, it's a little sweet, it's fresh and exactly what you would be looking for for a daily driver fig-based scent. The fig is your central theme, as it should be, of course, because of the name. The fig's green, almost leafy, almost milky. I mean, it really brings out some great aspects of the fig. It also brings a watery aspect that fig does give. Um, it's milky, but it's not coconutty. Um, I know that Marc Jacobs' man brings out like a coconutty feel to uh, the fig. This doesn't really do it that much, but it has a milky aspect to the fragrance. The one thing that hits me is how authentic this fig is, the note of fig in here. And that's why I'm really interested in this Essence line because they did a great job with the fig itself. Now the Mandarin Orange, the Mandarin Orange in this fragrance, very surprising. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I love testing out fragrances and my sprays, my application on these fragrances. Sometimes I go double digits just to see how the fragrance will do on my skin. The Mandarin Orange is barely there in a lot of my wearings. Uh, however, it plays a really nice role in this opening. It, it does its thing. But I noticed when I went kind of berserk with the uh, the atomizer and really smelt this fragrance just to see how much uh, 10, 12 sprays of this stuff, what it would do on my skin. Um, I really felt that mandarin orange push. Um, it really pushed through up top, um, but it fades really quick. It, it fades like a banshee on here. I mean, it really goes quick. If you truly put your nose to your skin, you'll smell the clary sage in the opening to mid, and it truly gives it an herbaceous fougère theme and almost lavender-like qualities with its pinch of leathery aspects, but you truly need to look under the hood of this fragrance, pun intended because it's Ferrari, so we're looking under the hood, uh, to find all these aspects of noble fig. Um, so really the one thing that I, I felt was really interesting is that clary sage. I know that a lot of people say, eh, I smell a little bit of leather in there, that's the Clary Sage, boys and girls. Um, yeah, you're looking under the hood of Noble Fig, so congratulations. You're pinpointing some notes. Um, really a, a great composition, especially in this introduction, especially that Mandarin Orange was a really interesting that the more sprays I wore, the more it uh, threw itself out and attacked my nose a little bit. In the dry down, the fig itself uh, starts losing steam. It's still trying to hold itself as the central theme in this fragrance. It does a good job holding itself through while the clary sage and the iris starts making its presence felt. Once the iris comes in, the iris here is not as prominent as uh, Armani Privé's uh, Figuier Eden. Um, this has a lot of, it's a fig based fragrance, but it has a lot of iris in it. It's beautiful. It's probably the most upscale fig based fragrance that I've ever smelled in my life. This thing is built almost the same as this. Now, very, very much uh, as far as pricing goes, there's a huge difference and this is way better, but you're gonna look at the pricing and be like, uh, no. Um, so going back to the iris in here, it's not as prominent as the Armani Privé, nor as smooth or as buttery or as beautiful as an iris that you could get. Um, it's very much an unpolished as an iris note. That's fine though. You know, looking at the price price range, you, you can't poo poo too much on Noble Fig. Uh, the iris is still okay. There isn't much movement here as Noble Fig starts losing steam quickly. Um, that is one thing that I felt that this fragrance really didn't have much backbone to it. It gets a little muskier, more into the dry down, the deep dry down with a green earth like quality to backbone the scent. Uh, for the price that you get for this one at discounters, man, I can't even lie to all of you right now. Um, this would be a great starter for someone looking for a fig set. You, you don't have one, you're looking for one, and you're looking for one that's affordable. Um, man, this is, this is great. If you're looking for something that's a little more different than all the citruses out there, everybody's wearing citruses and things like that, and you're looking for mint or a fig-based fragrance, I think those, those two notes always are two notes that I look for for summer spring-based scents because it's, it's a unique way to have a, a almost quench your thirst, kind of like a refreshing fragrance. And this is something that I would recommend for somebody that's looking for a budget under 50 bucks for fig, hell yeah. Noble Figs, really good stuff. Now, recommended age, I would say fig-based fragrances are mostly unisex and they're teen and up, especially this one. This one is anybody's anybody's flavor. Anybody can wear this. Uh, fragrances, what do I compare this to? 
If you really do like this and you do have the wallet for this, Armani Privé's Figuier Eden, I don't have a full-fledged review on this, I I, I should. Um, and you really like Iris and really like Fig, best in the game, best in the game. Best time to wear this fragrance. Um, she's a daily workhorse, um, work, uh, school, uh, casual, dress it up, dress it down, shorts, jeans, suit, tux. Um, really can wear it at, at almost any time. Seasons, spring and summer. Um, I really, I, I have worn it in the fall and winter here and uh, even indoors and this thing doesn't have enough push that it, it almost dies. It really does need a little bit of heat to it. And Iris doesn't work very well with heat. So you gotta be careful that it's not that hot. Fig works really well in hot and humid weather. But once this gets into the dry down, the muskiness and the, and the fig, it needs a little bit of coolness. More driven, more into spring. I love wearing this. More spring. Uh, development, this is linear. Um, it, it really doesn't have much to work with. It doesn't have much backbone. It doesn't have much depth to it. It's very linear. Um, what you get from the start is almost what you're going to get at the end. Work appropriate, yeah, that's what it's built for. Signature scent worthy, could be. Um, I find Fig more to be a uh, once in a while piece, something that I, I wear here and there. Um, it's not something that I wear like as a daily driver. Um, I know that I, I could see it as a daily driver, depending if you really like Fig, but um, for me, it's something that I, I like to wear on special occasions, things like that, uh, once in a while. Um, and this would be perfect for that. So let's get into my rating system, projection. Four bottles out of 10. This is where it takes a, quite a bit of a hit here. It doesn't project much. It's less than average as far as projection. I mean, it really doesn't push. Longevity, this is where it hits again. Um, four bottles out of 10. I have a hard time trying to hit eight hours with this. I really can't. Three to six hours um, on most wearings with this thing. Compliment factor, also low. Fig-based fragrances, most of them uh, for me personally, um, don't get much as far as uh, getting attention. Um, four out of 10 again, so a fairly low score. And I know this is a very positive fragrance review, except once you hit the rating system, but um, it is what it is. Some of these scores are gonna be low. Uniqueness, this is where it goes a little higher. We got seven bottles out of 10 here. I think as far as uniqueness, it's a solid fig. And for the price, whew, it's nice. And that goes to pricing versus what you get uh, in the scent. 10 bottles out of 10. Um, well worth it. Um, easy, easy purchase if you're looking for something under 50 in the fig game. Noble Fig is doing its thing. Now the versatility of this fragrance this is where she shines. Eight bottles out of ten. Figs are easier to wear. Um, as you can tell, um, you know, when I said daily driver, you can wear it, dress it up, dress it down, things like that. Very versatile scent. That goes to smell. Um, very solid. Very impressed. Uh, it's getting a really good eight here. A solid eight. It's good fig and for the price, it's almost a great fig for the price. And that goes to an overall score, Ferrari's Noble Fig. Gets a very respectable and very good score of an eight bottles out of 10, a solid release from Ferrari. And that goes to my buy, try, or pass. Um, if this is, you know, as far as price range and scent and, and, and everything encompassing Noble Fig, I have to say this is a buy from me. Um, I highly recommend this as a buy if you are looking for your first fig and you're looking for something under 50, um, this is right up your alley. I really think that this could be uh, a, or a gem for somebody out there. So overall, Noble Fig in the car fragrance game. We got Mercedes, we got Jaguar, we got Bentley, and we got many others, of course. And I think this Essence line from Ferrari is hand in hand right now with Bentley has taken the crown in the fragrance game for cars. Um, I, I really think you guys can comment down below and tell me what you guys think, but this Essence line is going for that crown. It might even already have the crown. For Fig, listen guys, this isn't the best in the game. It's not, it's not. But damn, it's up there with the best of them. It is, it really is keeping up steam. Um, there's some drawbacks to the scent. Every scent has some drawbacks, but the authenticity is what shocked me here. Um, yeah, it doesn't last long on my skin, among other figs in the game, but it does the job. And if you're on a budget and you don't want to pay high prices for like a filosicos of the world, then this will do it. A great bottle, a great scent. Well done, Ferrari. I'm impressed and I feel like this is something that is sniff worthy at least. 
Uh, so thank you for watching my review on Ferrari Noble Fig. And please remember, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. <laughs>